Hey guys, we are going to talk today about why when you divide a number by a fraction or a fraction by a fraction, you flip the second one and multiply. So you've probably done this, right? If you have two thirds divided by three fourths, you take two thirds, flip three fourths, the reciprocal is the fancy word, and multiply. But why does that work? I have wondered this a lot. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to show you. Um, I'm going to show it to you a couple different ways. So first, I'm going to show you how we would just do this if we were doing this problem. Okay. So 10 doesn't look like a fraction right now, right? But I can make it a fraction by just putting it over a one, right? So it would look like that 10 over one divided by one half. So I would take this one and flip it, right? Use the reciprocal and multiply by two over one, which gives me 20 over one or just 20, right? So that's why, or sorry, how I would do that. But now let's look at it another way. Also, whenever I do these why videos, or oftentimes I get people in the comments um, telling me another way that you can prove it. And I love that. So if you have another way to prove this that I don't say, please leave a comment because I love reading the other ways. Okay. Okay, so this one's gonna be kind of a visual way to see this, okay? So I have 10 divided by one half. This isn't asking me what half of 10 is, okay? It's asking me how many halves are in 10, okay? So if I have 10 cookies, look at how good I draw cookies, guys. Those look so good. <laughs> okay, here's my 10 cookies. And I'm wondering how many half cookies there are. So that's one half, two half, right? If I cut them all in half, how many halves is that? Well, that is 20 halves, right? So how many halves are in 10? 20. And it was two for every one. So we multiplied by two, essentially, right? So there's kind of a visual way to see it, a more mathematical way to see it, I guess you could say, to prove that this works, is I could write this as a bigger fraction, right? So I could write it as turning 10 into a fraction, 10 over 1 over, we're turning into a fraction with a fraction, this is like craziness, all right, divided by 1 half right? I know that looks a little scary. <laughs> Two fractions making a fraction. Oh my gosh. But if I wanted to simplify this, if we can get rid of our denominator, we like to do that, right? So to get rid of this, I would multiply by two over one, right? Because they would cancel each other out. Just leave me with a one on the bottom. But whenever we are changing what a fraction looks like, we don't want to change its value. So we multiply the same on the top and the bottom, right? So I'm going to multiply the bottom by two over one, okay? Because when I multiply that, those are going to cancel and just leave me with a one on the bottom. But if I multiply this, I need to multiply by the same thing on top because then this just simplifies down to one, right? So these cancel. And what am I left with on the top? I'm left with 10 over one times two over one or just 10 times two, which gives me 20. Awesome, right? <laughs> okay, I hope that made sense. Thanks, bye.